Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack here from Jacktastic Tech, and today we're going to be checking out a 16 megabyte OS. So the name of the OS we're going to be checking out today is Tiny Core Linux. It has three different versions that come in a 12, 16, and 100 megabyte variants. The 12 is just a command line interface. The 16 megabyte version actually has a user interface and the 100 megabyte version uh, is like a full OS. So we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to mess around with the 100 megabyte first and then we'll go back and we'll see how little is actually on the 16 megabyte version. Uh, regardless, it's really impressive, uh, but let's go ahead let's create a uh, virtual machine here in Workstation Pro. Uh, okay, I will install the operating system later. Actually, we have it right there. It's Linux, sure, all good. Uh, it'll be named Tiny Core Linux. Uh, disk size, we'll go ahead, we'll just say 10 gigs, which isn't even necessary. It's a little overkill, if anything. And we'll uh, give this four gigs of RAM. We'll give it two processor cores and two threads. And we'll go ahead and we will put, good, that's good. Location, I do want to change the location. So now it'll go ahead, create that virtual machine, and we can go ahead, power it on, and it's gonna start booting up, yes. We'll just go ahead and we'll select the uh, ICE window, yeah, the ICE window manager. I think that's the one I've used before. So this will take a minute, and it'll go ahead and install uh, Tidy Core to our hard drive. Um, and yeah, then we'll go ahead, we'll be able to install applications like Mozilla Firefox, uh, as well as things like, I believe, GIMP. So you could have a little, you know, 100 megabyte Photoshop box, but that was super fast. So we can go ahead, we can go to apps, and uh, it'll try and find the fastest way to download it. Um, and that only takes a few seconds, and then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll find some apps. But it found the fastest mirror, uh, so we'll go ahead, we'll hit OK, and then apps, we'll browse. And it'll go ahead, it'll start looking through. So if we scroll through here, we can also search, but just scrolling to show you guys. They have Chromium, which is a pretty popular browser. Um, actually, let's go ahead, let's use Chrome, because I've used Mozilla on here before, but I haven't used this Chromium. So it's gonna go ahead, you just hit go, and it uh, downloads and installs all the bips and the bops. So let's see what it does. So then we can just search in Chromium Browser, and just like that, we have what looks like a very old version of uh, Google Chrome, but let's go ahead and head to um, everyone's favorite website, jacktastic.tech, and uh, as you guys can see, it's like fully, f like you can do stuff on this operating system, um, and it works, which is pretty cool. Um, so that works, that's that's actually pretty sweet. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, I wonder if we can get something like Steam. I mean, that might take a little while to uh, get, but let's go ahead, let's just search Steam. All right, so no Steam. But let's go through here and let's find some other, uh, you know, tools where we know about. So I think GIMP is on here, so let's try and find GIMP or some, yep, GIMP. All right, so let's go ahead, let's grab GIMP. This might take a few minutes, uh, so I'll get back to you guys when this is done s installing, but GIMP is an awesome. If you guys need a free alternative to Photoshop and you don't wanna use like an online application, GIMP is like by far the best way to go. I've used it for a long time before I started paying for the Adobe Cloud, um, and it's just a great application that gives you like all the features of Photoshop and is even better, in my opinion, in certain regards. Wow, that was really fast. That took like 30 seconds. Uh, let's go ahead, let's launch GIMP and we'll uh, we'll, we'll draw something. Um, so let's file new. One of my favorite things about GIMP is uh, how well it does pixel art um, versus Photoshop. I just think Photoshop sucks. So let's go ahead. Uh, look at that. I mean, it's pretty smooth. I'm doing this through a VM, uh, so it could certainly be faster. Um, 
when I was trying this out before, I've used it once before on like an actual system, like installing it on one. I used uh, like a Pentium 4, so a single core processor from like 2002. Uh, and I was able to get this running on it and it ran really, really well. I mean, it's a super lightweight operating system, so there's not much on it, uh, but it just ran really well. And uh, I was, you know, honestly very impressed. So, uh, yeah, this is Tiny Core Linux. I'll go ahead, I'll put a link in the description down below where you guys can download it. Anyways, guys, if you like this video and you want to see me do more stuff like this where I check out weird or odd versions of Linux, go ahead, drop a like down below. If you didn't like it, drop a dislike. And if you really did, tell me why in a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see in a future video. And until next time, peace out.